Okay. Well, Ashish Patsati, uh, the treasurer at HDFC Bank is with us. Thank you very much, Ashish, for your patience. Uh, well, actually, the rupee has held on reasonably well. Uh, you think it, that, that stability can uh, continue because we have an accrued advantage? Yes, so, you know, it's difficult to say at this point in time. You know, things are so much in flux. Uh, yes, we definitely have a significant crude advantage and, you know, our import uh, bill will come down significantly. However, you know, uh, uh, capital flows are a reasonably large factor in the, you know, value of the currency. And uh, depending on the investor sentiment in the short term, you know, rupee rates, uh, the value of the rupee could be anywhere. So we think it will still be range bound, but you know, in very small periods of extreme risk off, you could see it moving higher. Otherwise, for us, you know, if you see sustainable levels, yes, we have a reasonably good advantage as because the crude has come down significantly. Mm. Ashish, hi, morning. The selling has been led by large outflows from foreign portfolio investors. Almost one and a half billion dollars of selling is what we've seen both in debt and equity in March. Um, although the RBI has adequate forex reserves right now, how do you see the way forward? Do you think that they will step in uh, to uh, support the rupee? And um, what do you see as the range uh, in the medium term? See, the way I see it is in terms of investor behavior, right? Uh, on the equities, it's, you know, it will be slightly uh, calls on the longer term. It will be more if there is, you know, redemption pressures uh, globally, then you will obviously have some amount of uh, equity being sold. And thirdly, risk off will drive that. On the debt side, it's more the value of the currency, right? Uh, your net uh, returns go down significantly as you see currency depreciating. So, I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, uh, until uh, there is uh, some, you know, sense of in the market that the rupee has stabilized and the moment I think you see that sense, you will see debt flows coming back in because, you know, rates here still are reasonably attractive. But till that time, you will continue to see some amount of outflows. So, they will be in the immediate term some pressure on the rupee. Uh, uh, at this point in time, very difficult to call on a range, but I think, you know, I would say at this point in time, it would be very short periods of time, 73 to 75 kind of a range it should maintain. One was expecting that yields will go up today because crude has crashed yet again, but that's not happening. Uh, why is this? A big fear of foreign selling? See, some amount of, these are, you know, obviously every day there will be movements which will be short term in nature. We have seen reasonable amount of sales yesterday by the foreign portfolio investors. It will have an impact. Uh, yields have moved down significantly from where they were in, you know, say two months back. So, you know, uh, there will be this thing of uh, risk of uh, and rupee, rup I think both these put together will keep the market nervous. Uh, otherwise, I think the expectations are yes, the rate, the rate regime environment globally as well as domestically will be extremely benign. So, from that perspective, I don't think they will, you know, you will see too many domestic investors selling, but they need not be, you know, buying in a large way till this thing stabilizes. That's the way I see the gate. Okay. What's just sense about, about Vata, just about to break the morning low, 1917 we went to, the low was 1916. 0.05 so 992 uh, we are now at 9921 I think someone just try to defend that uh, morning mm -hmm. low because you know that will bring uh, whether it's own uh, you know ramifications but 9918 <coughs> now on the nifty spot the low is 9916.05 so just uh, you know want to keep an mm -hmm. eye on that on the bank nifty uh, the low bank is nifty is far away from the low 774 is the low but I think we are still some distance away from that but on the nifty I think we broke that uh, mm -hmm. intraday low uh, or you know we made a fresh intraday low 99.14.9 mm -hmm. I think on the nifty and uh, mm -hmm. I think the mid caps are going from uh, back to worse mm -hmm. now it's a 7% uh, cut on that now index so that is a low fresh low, low. On the okay there is a fresh low in yeah, nifty so as well so like we spoke about that that low will go if it was mm -hmm. a matter of time mm -hmm. but, but it's only uh, about half an hour you know, or 45 minutes yeah you need to see when is a durable low made or not uh, mm -hmm. we are in for a long day uh, mm -hmm. like Monday very long day and I <coughs> Ashish, you yeah. think anything from the RBI can help at this point? Are you expecting them to move before April and will it be a large move? So, I personally don't expect them to move before April, frankly. You know, there have been calls for that. 
I do not know whether that will help or otherwise. You know, rate environment is benign. There is expectation of rate cuts. Lot of you know, you've seen some banks act on deposit rates. I think more banks will follow. You will see some amount of lending rate cuts, money market rates. You know, rates for CPs and rates for some amount of loans linked to benchmarks are extremely low. So yes, it will help at the margin but it will not be a big help in any of the markets if there is a large rate cut yes you will see guilt yields etc might be you know, moving down from here but that's about it otherwise you know the expectation is is definitely that the market will remain benign whether they need to do it now or in april i don't think it will make that much of a difference your bank was an outlier in terms of credit growth but do you think a wave of uh, caution will envelop the bankers as well. See, whenever any economy is slowing down, you know, uh, the uh, lenders will need to be cautious, right? Because when uh, the economy is slowing down, there will be entities uh, at the margin who will not possibly be, you know, who, whose cash flows might get impacted adversely. At the end of the day, the lender has to ensure that whatever monies it has lent comes back and the borrower has the ability to pay back. So, caution, you know, in that sense will always be there, especially in, you know, when anywhere the economy is closed down. Mm -hmm. However, uh, the way I see in terms of, you know, credit growth, etc., it's a more a factor of demand. Everything is slowing down. Mm -hmm. So, demand for, you know, uh, GDP is slowing down, demand for credit is low. Mm -hmm. And that's the main cause. And, you know, I don't think anybody can do too much to it. You can make the environment much more benign mm -hmm. and then wait for things to pick up. Uh, in a benign environment, the pickup will be quicker and faster when it, you know, whenever it happens. Sure. Now, Nifty is all set to breach that 9900 mark. Uh, Ashish, I take your point entirely that even if an RBI rate cut comes, it may not do too much to spur sentiment. I mean, the RBI cut rates five times in 2019 and we're still seeing such a big slowdown. But I wanted your thoughts on the banking system because after this whole um, Yes Bank fiasco, the fear is that there could be one more round of retail-led NPAs uh, in the industry. Uh, your own thoughts here? See, my uh, belief is that most of you know uh, lending by Indian banks is based on the cash flow of the borrower. As long as you know uh, there are no large job losses, etc., in the economy, then I don't think you, we, one should see uh, too much of NPS appear. As long as the you know lending has been prudent. If the lending has been aggressive, then you know, irrespective of uh, what happens, yes, the slowdown in the economy can only exacerbate the outcome. But Ashish. that's how I see things. No, Ashish, uh, the most of the yeah. Ashish, you know, Sonia's question is the cash flow that you saw yes. in January or December when you lent the loan is may not be the cash flow in March, April, May, and therefore, can there be a wave of you know MSME, SME, retail, unsecured loan uh, NP? No. So, so I understand the question. I'm just saying retail lending is lot of to individuals and lot of it to salaried individuals, right? That's why I said unless you see large job losses, you know that's where the uh, you know borrower's ability to repay gets impacted. If you don't see job losses, then you're okay, right? You estimated uh, the repayment capacity of the individual. If you're talking about SMEs, etc., yes, at the margin, you know, the weakest entities will have a problem cash flows, and there you will see uh, some amount of increase in, you know, delinquencies. But uh, uh, the same thing I mentioned, uh, repeating again, that as long as the bank has been prudent in its lending and, you know, and not lent to marginal entities, then, you know, banks should be okay. Mm, fair point. Mm, okay. Ashish, thank you very much. We've got you on a very somber day. Uh, yes, caution will be the watchword and let's hope it's not going to lead to job losses. Let's hope it's, uh, you know, a restricted one or two month discomfort yeah. which people will swallow. You know, Thank you very much, Ashish, for joining us with your thoughts. You know.